Hello, and thank you for choosing my tutorials for your Blender 3D education. I'd like to start off with some self-promotion real quick. Please visit www.russimf.com. There you can find all of these tutorials and more. I have renders that I have done there and also weekly contests for the new best render featured on my main page. You can also find free textures you can use in modeling your own file under the Files tab. Please be sure to support the site by clicking on an ad while you're there. I'm doing this for free and I could really use the support. In and enjoy the tutorials. Hello and welcome to uh, Blender tutorial 14. Uh, today we're going to be talking about particle effects. Uh, more specifically uh, about the hair emitter and uh, or strand emitter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's, it's not a very difficult thing to grasp, but uh, it takes a little bit of learning. So we'll go ahead and uh, start uh, by deleting the default cube by hitting X and uh, clicking on that. Uh, next thing I want you to do is space, add, mesh, and we'll go ahead and add a or ICO sphere. I can't pronounce it. Or correction, let's go ahead and just add a regular sphere, a uh, UV sphere, uh, for this example. Uh, next thing I want you to do is go ahead and uh, add a new color to it. Uh, it doesn't matter whatever color you want. Uh, and then go over to textures, add new, and make it uh, magic and you'll see why here very shortly, you'll like it. Uh, next thing I want you to do is go to the uh, uh, physics tab, uh, correction, I'm sorry, particle tab, and add new. Uh, we're gonna make it hair. Make the amount 3,000. Uh, go ahead and do randomly placed, evenly spaced. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the normal up just uh, point zero three zero looks good uh, point one zero for the random looks good and then that's pretty much all I want you to do uh, for that section next thing I want you to do is head over to where it says children on the screen click on that and click from particles and as you see, it created a lot more. Now, let's go ahead and render that image. It'll take a few moments. Uh, this is very, very taxing on a system. Uh, this is also a good way to make grass. Uh, I have a tutorial planned in about two or three for uh, making a complex terrain uh, that will cover using this method to make grass. Uh, and it looks really good. Uh, but as you see, we have made a scrunchy ball. And it looks pretty decent too. Uh, that's why I like the magic, because it shows the uh, all the different strands in there. Kind of makes it a little bit easier to see. But uh, that's basically it. Uh, that's all you have to do for the hair emitter. Uh, so go ahead and delete that. If you can. Computer's being kind of slow. And um, I'll show you how to use emitter. Alright, for an emitter you would use this for something like if you were making a engine for a uh, an engine for like a spaceship or a jet, or, you know, whatever, it's up to you. But uh, that would be some of the ideas you'd use it for. So go ahead and add a cylinder and uh, and size it down just slightly. Okay, after you size your uh, cylinder down, go ahead and uh, make another one, unselect it, or deselect it, and make another cylinder, and make it slightly larger. Well, the default size should be pretty good, and place it right in the middle. Uh, what I want you to do is take the end cap of the cylinder, the larger one, and go ahead and click on the center vertex and delete it. Okay, and this is going to be our quote-unquote engine. And it should look pretty good once we're done here. Alright, uh, next thing I want you to do is click on the center one, and I want you to go to the Particles tab. Add new particle system, emitter. Uh, we're going to make the life uh, probably about 200 looks good. And uh, we'll put evenly spaced, randomly placed good amount on the normal. Now for this, watch what happens if I just hit play. 
you see it doesn't it's not very good the particles are coming out of the side of the engine it's just it's chaos okay so what we want to do is find the z-axis here make it come out like that and the normal is going to increase the speed that it leaves also so as you can see now they're all starting to go in that direction we just want to keep increasing the z axis acceleration until it until it looks the way we want it to look so i'm just going to go ahead and keep increasing it and we're almost there one of the things you can do to fix this too is uh not have your cylinder so big just make it like a quarter and as you see there you go now it's all coming out of the back like a turbine and that looks pretty good so uh what i'm going to do is go ahead and color it now uh, we're going to color the outside of the the jet engine just a, a jet black just to make it i don't know just to make it aesthetically pleasing if i may and then as far as the particles go now this is the fun part we're going to come in here and make the normal color, say like an orange. Uh, and then we're going to come into textures, add new. And then uh, we'll do uh, clouds. And then go to the colors, click on color band. Now this is the fun part. We come in here and we'll make it like a fire red for one. Then we'll add another one. Make that one yellow. And then we'll click on this one over here. And we'll make that orange. Now if we move this forward slightly, go to our camera view, we should get some pretty cool particle effects. As you can see, let's add a blue one in there too. You never get a jet engine without some blue in it. change our background scene so we can see that a little bit better. Change it to white. There is your fire. Uh, one thing you can do is uh, take this, I know this really isn't part of the tutorial, but you can take that edge and fan it out a little bit. It's another way to overcome it now. We actually have a trash can on fire. That's, <laughs> that's more what it looks like if anything, but that's the basic principle behind particles and emitters and the hair. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or shoot me an email at uh, www.russimf.com. Uh, please make sure to visit one of our ads on the webpage. It helps uh, keep the uh, site up and running and it helps uh, me fund the domain name. I highly appreciate your time and look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.